When you first arrive at the station, you should find your wind turbine and three sets of blades along with your voltmeter, making sure that the voltmeter is set up to the proper setting with the red in the middle and the black at top and the dial set to the 20 DCV for direct current voltage. Just so that we can make sure these pieces of equipment last for a very long time. If at any time you're putting something in and it doesn't go, don't wrench on it, don't push hard on it, don't twist really, really tight on it. We wanna make sure this lasts for a long time. And so if at first it doesn't go, you wanna just step back for a second and see what the reason might be. Maybe it's just not fitting and you have to unscrew things a little bit more. Maybe you have to enter it on a little bit of an angle. Okay, something just might not be in place if it doesn't work at first. The next step you're gonna to wanna to do is ensure that your groups of three blades are all the same. There's little numbers written on the tip of each of these blades. And then when you start installing the blades, you wanna make sure all of the same blade is installed at the same time. With this little notch facing outwards of the wind turbine. You place it in by loosening loosening this part off, making sure not to lose any of the pieces. If they do come off, they can easily be put back on, just making sure that you keep that same contour there. When that tip goes in, again, that notch is facing forward. You just wiggle it around a little bit, maybe loosen it a little more until it fits. And you wanna make sure that all three of them are put in place and they need to be evenly distributed. So you might have to put it in, take it out a few times to make sure it's done properly. One of the best ways is just to let it dangle after having two in and find that missing place. Again, you might have to loosen a little bit to place the third blade in, twisting it to get it in place. Then you just simply tighten this on until you have all the blades nicely in place. Now that you have the three blades in place, you want to change its pitch. So to do that, you can loosen this off just a little bit and turn and you can see this line here lining up with little lines on the other piece. So we'll call this the first position where it's turned all the way to the counterclockwise position. Then turning it slightly clockwise, you can use the middle location and then all the way clockwise is the final location, location three on your data sheet. Tightening it on in between each trial to make sure that it doesn't come apart or that it's securely fastened during your trial. And so since you have three different blade combinations and three different pitch locations, you'll be doing nine trials and measuring the voltage for each of those trials. So now that you have the correct blades in place that you have chosen and set to the correct pitch that you want, again, remembering nine trials, you want to get your voltmeter ready, turned on, again, dial set to the 20 DCV and the red in the middle and the black on the top. It should be very simple to connect these. You're just gonna be touching black to black, red to red. And when you're ready to do that, you turn on the fan and your wind turbine might start on its own, and if not, you can just give it a little push and that'll get it started. So now that it's going, I'm just gonna carefully connect my red to red, black to black, and you should see some volts actually being created now. You wanna record that number in the appropriate place on your data table. When you're all finished at the station, please just twist this off, again spinning counterclockwise, to remove the blades that you've put in place, and so that the next group can come to the station and see everything, how you found it, with the gr three groups in, groupings of three, and also remember to turn off your voltmeter as well. So this is, pretty much how the station should look when you got to it and it should look this way when you're finished with it as well.